So this video is going to be a pretty fun one. If you haven't yet heard about it, the new movie Avengers Infinity War recently came out and while fans all around the world have been raving about how much they love it, I have been analyzing the trailer and some of the stuff which we get to see in the movie itself, specifically Iron Man's new armor. Now before we move on, I would recommend that you watch my video from last week on Iron Man's armor before watching this one because you can get some really interesting insight from there. But either way, let's get into this video. So in Infinity War, Tony Stark has a brand new suit that is way more advanced than anything which we have seen in previous movies. It is actually made of nanotechnology and it is called Model 51 or Prime Armor. And one of its biggest features is that it can actually morph into any one of Tony's previous suits. It also bears a resemblance to the Bleeding Edge Armor from the comics Model 38, which was made out of nanomachines stored inside his body that could actually be called upon to take form of any structure upon his skin, from Iron Man suits to even ordinary clothes. If we take a quick step back, the Iron Man Armor Model 38, Model XXX VIII, also known as the Bleeding Edge Armor, was an armor that appeared in the Iron Man comics of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Bleeding Edge suit, which first appeared in The Invincible Iron Man No. 25, gave Iron Man's power armor, streamlined shapes, a more aerodynamic profile, and fewer overlapping armor plates. Model 48 was introduced in the comics in 2010, while Model 51 first appeared in the comics in 2015. Both of these suits were invented by Tony himself, but it is possible that the prime armor in the movie will be designed or use technology designed by Black Panther's 16-year-old sister Shiri, who is the head of the Wakandan design group. Now, first of all, I'm going to say that I had to do some research about this since I'm not really the biggest Marvel bookworm, so most of the information here will be based on the comics and movies and also real-life information that I found online. Unlike the previous versions of the Iron Man armor, Tony's new suit appears to be constructing itself from a fluid-like metallic material rather than in discrete panels of metal, machinery and circuitry similar to what we see in Iron Man 3. Exterior sections of the armor, those hot red portions, build out in a hexagonal pattern. We've seen similar tech to this back in Captain America Civil War when Tony was protecting himself against the Winter Soldier, a tiny bracelet like gadget that changed its shape into a smaller part of Iron Man's suit. So how does this new armor itself work? Well, there's actually a pretty interesting explanation. A way of explaining it is that the nanites are controlled by Stark's mind and they all talk to each other, so they know exactly what they have to do and in what position they have to be in. The irregular ships are because the nanites are still making the suit. In the comics, they can make whatever Stark thinks of, from clothes, different armors and whatnot, even Hulkbusters. And if you pay close attention, you would realize that all the tech is stored inside of Tony's chest arc reactor. Which which makes it very easy to access and it actually looks pretty cool even though it doesn't actually need an arc reactor since you got all those chunks of metal removed back in Iron Man 3. But that's it for today's video. It's pretty interesting seeing how far Tony's suit has come in terms of its evolutions, from a piece of scrap metal made in a cave all the way to a nanotechnology based suit. What do you think? Let me know by leaving your thoughts in the comment section below. Also in the description, I'll be leaving a link to a pretty useful article about nanotechnology which you should definitely read, so feel free to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, learned anything new or just want more, feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is released. Leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. If you are feeling generous and want to help this channel out in producing better content, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. One dollar goes an extremely long way. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I will be seeing you in the next video.